Good morning, dear friends and students. Uh, in this lecture, I will be discussing about the drugs used for the treatment of viral infections, or as it is called, antiviral drugs. The virus on the number and classify on the DNA containing virus, another one is RNA containing virus. Usually, bacteria or virus or difference in and pathing bacteria contains both nucleic acid. DNA or RNA or whereas virus contains either DNA or RNA which is enveloped by some proteins. So, other base for the non-enveloped virus form, enveloped virus have been solely number and the divide from law. So, the enveloped virus la patina, there will be a protein envelope. For example, P51 in case of HIV. In the protein, the major on the antigenic in nature is formed. Usually, viruses are intracellular parasite. It's an obligate intracellular parasite. That means the replication of this virus is completely depends upon the synthetic processes of the host cell. It is the host cell DNA containing virus example on the herpes virus RNA containing virus example on the HIV Now how the virus undergoes replication and what will be the site of action of the different antiviral drugs number in the slide discuss So the virus replication can be classified into 10 subdivisions. The first one is adsorption. Adsorption means the entry of virus into the or entry or attachment of the virus into the host cell. After the attachment, there will be penetration. Penetration means from extracellular to intracellular region. After the penetration, there will be uncoating. Uncoating means release of the genome, either DNA or RNA. If suppose this is the virus, DNA containing virus, so the virus DNA is in the nucleus of the host cell. This is called integration. Now, for, by the early transcription, there will be synthesis of mRNA. By the early translation, the mRNA can be converted into protein with the help of DNA polymerase. So the sixth step is DNA is synthesized and there will be a late transcription. The seventh is late translation that is uh, synthesis of protein. Then condensation. After the condensation, there will be transfer of capsid proteins to the nucleus. That leads to assembly of the newly formed virus particles. The tenth stage step is called release, or as it is called the bonding. In the fourth stage, is the virus will replicate. So, now we have antiviral drugs. First stage is adsorption, that means attachment of the virus with the host cell. The second step is called penetration. So the adsorption and the penetration can be inhibited by the globulins, gamma globulins, the non-specific. Enfluvitide, in case of HIV, one of the most important anti-HIV drugs is enfluvitide. The second step is uncoating, that is the release of the genome is Conveniently blocked by the amantidine. Amantidine is mainly effective against influenza A virus. Then early protein synthesis, that is translation process, is inhibited by the fomiversion in case of the cytomegalovirus. The nucleic acid synthesis is inhibited by purine and pyrimidine analogs and the reverse transcript is inhibitors. The late protein synthesis and processing can be inhibited by methiazone in case of varicellosis and the protease inhibitors. 
packaging and the assembly of newly formed virus particles blocked by rifampicin in case of vaccine or virus. The budding or release of the viral particles can be inhibited by deroaminidase inhibitors in case of the influenza virus. Now we will discuss about the classification of the antiviral drugs. That means uh, a group of uh, drugs which is acting against the particular virus. First one is anti herpes. This is very important uh, uh, viral, virus uh, that causes various types of infection. Hydoxyridine, trifluoridine, acyclovir, valacyclovir, amcyclovir, Gancyclovir, Valgancyclovir, Cidofovir, Poscarnate and Pomivirzen. These are all the drugs effective against herpes virus. In case of influenza virus, Amantidine, Remantidine, Oseltomivir and Janamivir. In case of hepatitis virus, for primarily for hepatitis B, Lamividine, Adifovir, Dipuvoxil, Denofovir. For hepatitis C, rifavirin and the interferon alpha. Then antiretroviral drugs that is against uh, HIV that can again uh, that can be classified into uh, nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors, for example, zirovudin, didanosine, stavudin, lamivudin, apacavir, m tricytopine, and tenofavir. These are all nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors. Then a retrovirus and the RNA containing virus and the reverse transcription not a form. Non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors is nevirapin, efavirines and delavirdin. OTS inhibitors, example retinavir, atsunavir, indinavir, melfinavir, sacminavir, amprinavir, lopinavir. Then fusion inhibitors, entry inhibitor is enfluvitide, CCR5 receptors inhibitor is maraviroc, integrase inhibitors, example palticravir. So these are all the drugs uh, used for the treatment of the HIV infections. <coughs> now we will discuss about anti herpes virus, drugs used in the treatment of anti herpes virus, example acyclovir. So, yes, Acyclovir is a prodrug which is converted into its monophosphate and uh, its triphosphate. So, yes, Acyclovir to its monophosphate by means of thymidine kinase, the monophosphate to triphosphate by means of cellular kinases. So, yes, Acyclovir which is converted into yes, Acyclovir triphosphate inhibits herpes virus RNA polymer or virus DNA polymerase competitively. You know, herpes virus is the DNA containing virus. So, that the DNA polymerase in the drug to inhibit from the norm. So, all, uh, the lengthening of the DNA strand is inhibited. So, yes, I have used for the uh, genital herpes simplex, leukocutaneous herpes simplex, herpes simplex encephalitis, Herpes simplex keratitis, herpes schuster virus infections, and chicken box infections. So, in the Mari Rathlala number, a cycle of use for alarm. Next, anti influenza virus uh, drugs on the Patina, amantidine. Amantidine is a strain specific drug. That means the inhibits replication of the influenza A virus but not effective against influenza B virus. Then the mechanism is you know, uncoating. Uncoating is the release of genome into the host cell for incorporation. The second mechanism is assembly and budding. You know, newly formed viral particles you know, assemble or complete the or virus form on the host cell to release you know, that is called the viral assembly and budding. So that stage is inhibited by amantidine. This amantidine is used uh, as a prophylactic drug for influenza A2 virus during a epidemic or seasonal influenza. It's used for the treatment of influenza infection, a illness, 
for fever reduction, congestion, cough, and quicker recovery. And this is an anti Parkinsonism drug. Uh, anti Parkinsonism, antiviral drugs is amantidine. But it should not be given in epileptic patients or, or other central nervous system disorders. Oseltamivir. So, this is the neuroaminidase enzyme. That means uh, budding, budding, release of virus. So, for that, neuroaminidase enzyme is important. So, that enzyme is inhibited by oseltamivir. So, the spread of virus in the body is inhibited. And this is used for the treatment of influenza A virus, swine flu virus, bird flu virus, and the influenza B virus. When we come to the anti hepatitis virus, these uh, are called non selective antiviral drugs because uh, hepatitis A, B, C, D, E, they replicate uh, very fast and uh, destruct the hepatocytes, so uh, there will be problem in the liver. Well, hepatitis B and C are very much important for hepatitis, cirrhosis and hepatocellular carcinoma. Hepatitis B virus on the DNA containing virus, hepatitis C virus on the RNA containing virus. This is the difference. Now, number of drugs are called Lamivudin. Lamivudin is the hepatitis B virus DNA polymerase. And also, the inhibits reverse transcriptase in case of the human immunodeficiency virus. If you see the mechanism, it must be phosphorylated, means that it is also the flow drug. So, it is phosphorylated and it converted into its triphosphate for the active form. They competitively inhibit hepatitis B virus DNA polymerase in a concentration that have negligible effect on post DNA polymerase. This is the advantage. Number cell order, host cell order, DNA polymerase inhibit the virus order, DNA polymerase inhibit control cytotoxicity. Adiphobic is phosphorylated into diphosphate. That diphosphate is incorporated into viral DNA. That leads to termination of the further DNA synthesis and uh, uh, prevention of the virus replication. And interferon. Interferon on the Madina or antibody marina. The cytokines produced by host cells in response to viral infections. Uh, three types of human interferon is alpha, beta, and uh, gamma. They have antiviral activity. If you see the mechanism of action, they induce the host cell enzyme that inhibits viral RNA translation that leads to degradation of the viral mRNA and the transfer RNA. Now you come to the antiretroviral drugs. There are many number of drugs used for the treatment of HIV. It has to be given uh, in a combination of at least three drugs. It is called the uh, regimen. It is a long lasting uh, infection, it is a chronic uh, disease. Anala, to avoid resistance, development of resistance, we have to give the combination of the three drugs at least. The antiretroviral drugs number classify now. Uh, uh, co-receptor, uh, fusion of viral envelope can be inhibited, HIV reverse transcriptase can be inhibited, HIV integrase can be inhibited, HIV OTS can also be inhibited. So, now, example, I have given you a co-receptor inhibitors, Maraviroc, fusion inhibitors, N-fluvid types. Reverse transcript is uh, inhibitors from the zero within tidanosine. Then uh, HIV integrase inhibitor on the RAL TKAVIR. HIV protease inhibitors on the delphinavir, no lopinavir, tetanavir, atrasanavir, indinavir, and saclinavir. So these are all uh, the protease inhibitors. 
then the mechanism to number discuss one more almost it is very similar to that of uh, the first slide but this is very specific to the hiv in mm. the hiv patina it on the there will be envelope eh? envelope is made up of glycoprotein 41 and uh, glycoprotein 120 which is uh, antigenic in nature the first step is uh, it is combined with the cd4 receptors cd4 receptors is uh, very important because there is a complete destruction of the cd4 cells in hiv infections so the binding can be inhibited by ccr3 receptor antagonist fusion and uh, uncoating can be inhibited and reverse transcriptase inhibitors RNA, yeah, the RNA on the incorporated into the host DNA. Just to blow, fusion now, the fusion now is uncoating. The RNA release out. And I say on the RNA containing virus. In the RNA on the human order DNA, host DNA would incorporate our own. So that stage is inhibited by the nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors or non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor. The nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors patina, zero video, didanacino on the non-nucleotide reverse transcriptase inhibitors patina, nevirapino, if I will and so on the room. And integration. Integration inhibitors on the realtic run of virus on the it undergoes transcription since uh, DNA is converted into RNA. The RNA is by means of translation converted into protein. Then uh, virion assembly, budding and uh, maturation. So the budding and maturation uh, can be inhibited by the uh, interferon. Then uh, there will be release of the newly formed virus by destruction of this CD4 cells. So when this process undergoes continuously at one stage, there will be destruction of all CD4 cells that leads to acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. So, uh, these are all the uh, drugs uh, which is effective against uh, the uh, HIV infections. So, with this, I, uh, uh, I am completing the drugs used for the treatment of uh, the viral infections. Actually, there are the two chapters. One is uh, drugs for uh, viral infections, another one is anti HIV drugs. And the last slide on the mainly uh, explains the drugs used uh, for the treatment of HIV infections. Now, the classification uh, in early slides I have given. Thank you very much. Uh, next class we will be discussing about uh, some other chapters. Thank you.